In the kingdom of Ebi, Mage Galleon visits Muriela to spend some time together. Muriela loves kissing Galleon because she believes there's love between them, but Galleon is actually absorbing the magic that runs in her mage bloodline. As they keep on kissing, nature outside is ruined by the dark forces of Galleon's ritual. Muriela's father Merrick is in the area and senses this energy, so he goes to investigate and discovers Galleon is using magic to control an army of beasts known as Krugs. Meanwhile an orphan known as Farmer works hard on the land. He lives happily with his son Zeph and his wife Solana, who Farmer hasn't told I love you to yet. They're often visited by Farmer's best friend Norik, who informs Farmer that the king's army is recruiting men and pays well. Farmer turns the offer down because he prefers a boring life if it means staying with family. At the royal castle, King Conriad receives news of the Krugs killing people all over the place, including a royal guard. Conriad's nephew Fallow fights the concept of such peaceful beasts attacking ridiculous, but Conriad believes dark sorcery is involved. The next day, Solana and Zeph go to visit Solana's parents and her brother Bastian at the village while Farmer stays at home to work. He suddenly feels a weird presence in the area, and a quick investigation reveals a bunch of Krugs are invading. Farmer reveals to have secret fighting techniques that he uses to quickly defeat all the beasts before the runs to check on Norik, who is also under attack while his barn burns. Together the two friends fight and defeat all the enemies, but unfortunately there's no saving the barn. Afterward Farmer asks Norik for a horse because he fears more Krugs may be going to the village. Back in the royal castle, Muriela is taking sword lessons with Commander Tarish. He respects Muriela's skill with the sword, but he can't accept her into his army because she's a woman. Their training is interrupted by Fallow, who tells Tarsh to prepare his soldiers because the Krugs are ransacking the land. It's clear that Tarsh dislikes Fallow for being a good-for-nothing, but he has no choice but to obey. In the village, Solana is hanging out with her dad and son in the tower, when she suddenly sees the Krugs coming. She immediately asks her father to take Zeph to a safe place while she rings the bell to raise the alarm. The villagers panic and run as the Krugs begin destroying everything in their path. At that moment, Farmer and Norik arrive at the village and join the fight, killing as many Krugs as they can. Farmer is desperate to find Solana and hears from her family that she's still at the bell tower, so Norik and Bastian help him find her while Zeph stays with his grandparents. Meanwhile the Krugs reach the tower and kidnap Solana. In his fortress, Galleon is using his magic to control the Krugs. He sends back up in the form of Dark Knights that serve as his avatar and allow him to see what's going on. When Farmer approaches the tower, he finds it on fire and assumes Solana's already dead. Galleon sends a Dark Knight after Farmer and to his shock, Farmer fights the Dark Knight without issues and even manages to kill him. However Galleon doesn't give up and gains control of a second knight that he sends to Solana's house to kill her parents. When Farmer arrives, he immediately starts another fight against more incoming Krugs while the knight finds Zeph hiding in the closet. Zeph quickly runs away and the knight follows him so that Galleon can have the pleasure of killing him. While Bastian gets home and is devastated to find his dead parents, Farmer finds Zeph and cries for his loss. After Galleon makes his army retreat with a bunch of prisoners, Farmer and Bastian bury Zeph and his grandparents. Norik points out they didn't find Solana's body, so she could still be alive. At the royal castle, Fallow meets with Galleon to remind him they had a deal to take over the throne together. Fallow doesn't think Galleon's working fast enough, but Galleon's too worried about Farmer and his ability to strike Dark Knights. Some hours later, King Conriad and his group arrive looking for people who want to join the royal army. Farmer turns them down, saying the king has plenty of soldiers and walls to protect him. Norik and Bastion agree with him and accept to join his search for Solana, but they're suddenly intercepted by Merrick, who thinks Norik and Farmer look familiar. Merrick tries to explain to Farmer that the king needs him more than they know, but Farmer dismisses him. After a few hours of riding, Farmer, Norik, and Bastion reach a broken bridge above a cliff. They send the horses back and then cross the gap by sliding down a rope with their belts. Farmer reaches the other end safely, but Norik and Bastion fall into the water. Thankfully they don't get hurt in the process. Meanwhile the king and his men return to the castle and find only one guard sleeping at the entrance. To make matters worse, Fallow is using the throne to get frisky with a woman. Conriad scolds him for his behavior, then he makes Tarsh take Fallow away. This causes Fallow to slap Tarsh for touching him, but Tarsh can't respond because Fallow is still royalty. Afterward, Fallow goes to Galleon to demand an acceleration of the plan. Galleon needs more power for that, so he visits Muriela, who tells him her father considers Galleon an enemy of the king. Galleon dismisses that comment as Merrick just being too judgmental, but since Muriela won't drop the subject, Galleon gets furious and yells at her. This scares Muriela and causes her to kick him out. The next morning, Fallow apologizes to Conrad and promises to do better, so Conrad allows him to share his breakfast. Afterward, Conrad discusses with Tarsh the strange behavior the Krugs are showing and how they should attack. Muriela takes the chance to speak to Conrad to ask what's going on because nobody tells her anything. Conrad is about to explain the Krug problem but he suddenly starts feeling dizzy and he passes out. Merrick senses his king is in danger and begins making his way back to the castle while Fallow goes to see Galleon because he feels sick as well. 
Galleon reveals that he poisoned the king's breakfast and that he has the antidote, which he gives to Fallow only after making him beg and reminding him who is really in charge. Moments later, Merrick arrives and uses his magic to start working on the poison in the king's system. Karish informs him Fallow has fled the castle and took two full legions with him, which may indicate he did the poisoning but also Galleon's help. When Tarish wonders how Galleon got so much power, Merrick gets suspicious and visits Muriela, who confirms she had been getting close to Galleon. Merrick explains to her that she had been used and her bad decisions are bringing chaos to the kingdom, which causes Muriela to have a breakdown. Outside the royal estate, Fallow tells the soldiers to follow him, and when one man wonders why Tarish isn't with him, Fallow kills him. Then he threatens to kill anyone who doesn't follow him because it would technically be treason. Meanwhile, Farmer, Bastion, and Norik get lost in the forest. They feel a weird presence surrounding them and suddenly, a bunch of plants grab them by their feet and hang them upside down. This is a trap from nymphs, who don't want warriors in their forest. Farmer uses his weapons to free himself and swears they mean no harm, so the nymphs let them go on the condition they get out of the woods immediately. The guys admit they're lost and the nymphs accept to guide them to the edge of the forest while explaining they don't get involved in humans' problems. The trio makes it out of the woods at night and finds the Krugs that are transporting the carts with the prisoners to their lair. One of the beasts tries to attack them, but they quickly kill it and Norik takes its helmet, getting an idea. He and Bastion dress up as Krugs and pretend to bring Farmer as a prisoner, giving him the chance to look for Solana. Unfortunately Bastion and Norik are recognized as humans and captured anyway. Farmer finds Solana in one of the cages, but a dark knight knocks him out from behind before he can rescue her. Back at the castle, Conrad wakes up and Merrick informs him of Fallow's doings. Conrad orders Tarsh to get the army ready to attack and he'll come along instead of resting. On a road not far away, Solana wakes up and discovers Norik and Bastion are with her. She breaks down when they tell her about her parents and Zeph, but Norik promises Farmer will come for her. In the meantime, Farmer wakes up to find himself tied to a tree. There's a dark knight next to him that Galleon uses to communicate, admitting he's curious about Farmer because he can't read him like he does with other normal humans. Galleon wants to know what Farmer is, but since Farmer doesn't have answers, Galleon pulls the rope to try to kill him. However Farmer moves quickly and kicks the knight to kill him with his own weapon, then he cuts the rope to save himself. Nearby, Merrick senses Galleon's magic and rushes to find Farmer barely alive, so he helps him by sharing some magic medicine. At the castle, Muriela deals with her feelings of guilt over having given her magic to Galleon. She considers ending things, but her best friend comes to stop her, pointing out that would only make matters worse. Muriela decides she wants to make up for her mistakes and make her father proud, so she puts on armor and leaves the castle to join the fight. Moments later, Fallow makes his army join a crude camp, saying they're part of his army too. This isn't liked by the soldiers. Meanwhile Merrick brings Farmer to the king's camp to introduce him to Conriad, because he is big news, Farmer is the king's lost son. He's sure of this because Norik used to tend the queen's horses, and after the massacre at Oxley Pass, Norik found a little boy wandering around. There was only one child at Oxley Pass back then, the prince. Farmer refuses to believe this and leaves the tent. While he searches for a horse to go back to look for his wife, Merrick approaches him to ask him to join the army again. Farmer refuses, so Merrick points out there's no point in saving Solana if the king doesn't win the war because then Merrick won't have a place to live. A moment later, Tarish approaches Fallow to try to solve this without a fight. He calls him a traitor and announces any soldier under his command will be considered one as well. Fallow laughs because he believes himself to be the new king and nothing can be done against him, but at that moment Conrad shows up to prove he's still alive. The soldiers that followed Fallow immediately return to their king's side and get ready for battle, Tarish is shocked to see Farmer joining them as well. Suddenly Fallow's Krug army arrives. The king's archers deal with the first wave, then the sword wielders come through to start a fierce battle. Galleon uses his magic to send some Krugs underground, allowing them to grab the soldiers by surprise from below. The humans are good fighters and manage to keep up their defenses, but things get more complicated when Galleon sends some dark knights and catapults that shoot rocks and even Krugs themselves on fire. While the archers find a safe spot to bring down the Krugs in charge of the catapults, the king also joins the fight, so the dark knights try going after him. The soldiers can't stop them no matter how much they attack, but Farmer knows he's special and opens the path to reach the knights and quickly kill them. This distraction is used by Fallow to shoot Conrad in the chest. The king doesn't give up and continues fighting, but Merrick orders the guards to take him away. Fallow immediately rides away and Farmer tries to catch him, but another dark knight gets in his way and Farmer has to stay to fight him. By holding onto the knight's horse, Farmer manages to reach the knight and kill him too. The king's army wins the battle, but Galleon thinks they're just buying time. Nearby, Muriela uses her special senses to understand what direction she needs to take and discovers there's a dark knight following her, so she rides away into the woods. Moments later, Fallow and the few men he has left show up in the forest with the intention of returning to the castle because it's empty and up for taking. They suddenly stop when they find a dark knight hanging from a tree, and just a little further in, Muriela is waiting. Fallow thinks he's found the perfect victim to kidnap, 
But at that moment the plants start moving. It turns out this is a trap and the nymphs now capture all the soldiers. Scared, Fallow grabs his sword and tries to kill Muriela, who quickly defends herself. A nymph on a vine jumps in to take Muriela away and Fallow tries to escape, but he finds himself blocked by the bodies of his own soldiers. The vines capture Fallow and Muriela announces he's coming with her. At Galleon's fortress, the Krugs arrive with all the prisoners and as soon as they open the cages, Bastion and Norik start a fight. Solana gets to run away with another prisoner, but unfortunately Norik dies in battle. Bastion joins the girls in the corridor trying to find a way out, but the Krugs find them and recapture them. In the king's camp, Conriad isn't well, so Merrick calls Farmer to make him face his father's last wishes. Conriad uses a quote about bravery and hard work that Farmer heard before, and this proves he's his son because Conriad only said that to the prince. The king thinks that Farmer's skills in battle prove he shall be a worthy leader, but also reveals he knows a lot about other subjects like plants and animals because he cares about his kingdom and what's going on in it. Farmer is impressed and holds Conriad's hand as he accepts his dream of peace right before the king dies. Outside, Tarish welcomes Muriela and sees her bring Fallow with her. Tarish immediately frees Fallow from the vines and challenges him to a duel for the king's honor. Fallow accepts and begins the fight by attacking Tarish from behind, but Tarish quickly recovers and shows off his skills, easily overpowering Fallow. At that moment, a soldier brings the announcement of Conriad's death, and Fallow laughs because that means he's the new king and they can't hurt him. He tries to order the soldiers around, but he's interrupted by Merrick, who introduces everyone to Farmer, explaining he's Conriad's son and therefore the new king. Merrick accuses Fallow of killing Conriad, and while a soldier finally arrests Fallow, everyone kneels to Farmer as their new king. At his fortress, Galleon learns that Solana is among the prisoners and wants to use her to make Farmer come to him. He touches her creepily and using his magic, Galleon discovers that Solana is pregnant. Back at the royal camp, the army says goodbye to Conriad with a proper funeral before making battle plans. Muriela tries to join the army again and this time Farmer accepts her as a soldier. She also knows of other people that want to help and takes Farmer to the woods, surprising him with the presence of the nymphs. They usually don't want to fight, but they've changed their mind because the Krugs are now attacking their forest too. Moments later, Farmer takes his army to Galleon's fortress, where the mage summons a storm to make the battle harder for the humans. As a fierce battle begins between Krugs and the royal guards plus the nymphs, Merrick takes Farmer around the mountain to show him a secret entrance to Galleon's lair. Then Merrick teleports inside to confront Galleon directly, since they used to be friends before Galleon fell into the darkness. The last existing mages in the kingdom start a fight by controlling swords with their magic, and Galleon uses all the power he's stolen from Muriela to stab Merrick, leaving him to die alone. Outside, a nymph helps Farmer use a rope to jump over a cliff and gain access to the secret entrance. Muriela senses her father's death and teleports into the fortress to say goodbye to him. Before dying, Merrick gives his daughter the last of his magic. In the caves, Bastion manages to get the chains off the walls and gathers some of the prisoners to fight the Krugs while the others take the chance to escape. Farmer sneaks inside the fortress until he finds Solana, but Galleon is waiting for him. Solana tries to run away, but Galleon hits her with magic to make her stay. Then Galleon grabs a sword to fight Farmer, and as soon as he realizes Farmer has better skills, he begins using magic to toss tables at him and float away from Farmer's hits. While Tarish and the nymphs have trouble against the Dark Knights that join the Krugs in battle, Farmer manages to disarm Galleon and wound his head. Galleon responds by capturing Farmer in a magic hurricane of books and retrieves his sword to kill him, only to be interrupted by Muriela, who uses her magic to save Farmer and frees Galleon. Solana sees the opportunity and with Farmer's sword, she stabs Galleon to get revenge for her son. Now free, Farmer comes forward and finishes Galleon once and for all. The death of the mage causes all the Dark Knights to disappear and Krugs to calm down and leave because they aren't under his control anymore. The prisoners and the army take a breath as they realize they won. Farmer and Solana celebrate their victory with a kiss, and Farmer finally tells her he loves her. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.